Hey, what's going on guys, Evan from Model3D. Today's video, we're gonna be taking my version 1.4 Wanhao D7, and we're gonna be upgrading it with the new 1.5 upgrade kit. This was kindly sent to me from Wanhao, along with the D7 box, which I'll have a future video on. So let's go over to the workbench and get going. So as I mentioned, um, Wanhao sent across this kit for me to upgrade my version 1.4. The kit for the 1.5 upgrade involves a new build plate. This is a machined, really nice, super flat build plate. Two 8mm smooth rods, a Z-axis beam, what the top red cover for the threaded rod and the Z-axis, a new coupler, a new aluminium base, and the various um, bolts, hex bolts, spring washers, all that kind of stuff. So from start to finish this only took about 30 minutes and this included setting up shops to film. It was a really fast process. The uh, video and the written tutorial by Mikey was really simple to follow, uh, really easy to actually cover to do. If you've got a version 1.4 or previous 1.3, 1.2, anything like that, I would highly suggest this upgrade. It really supports the Z-axis, it helps a lot with any kind of wobbles, any issues that you've been having like that. So it's a really, really good efficient upgrade. The next video will be on the Wanhao D7 touchscreen box. This is an alternative to the Nano DLP which I have a previous video on. So if you want to make sure you see that video and you don't miss it, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. And if you're already subscribed, make sure to hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video. If you liked the video, click the like button. If you didn't, click the dislike button and leave me a comment. Tell me how I can improve. But other than that, I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next video.